we've never been to Battle Mountain, so we're excited to learn about it at the Historic Cookhouse Museum. The museum's executive director, Lori Price, is there to greet us. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome Hi. to the Thanks Cookhouse so Museum. Thanks. Nice to see you. Appreciate you having us. Well, glad you're here. What a cool place. Is this uh, traditionally a cookhouse for, for miners? No, it's actually from the 25 Ranch, which is about 20 miles out, and we had it moved in. They used it at a cookhouse for their buckaroos. So they were always excited to come and they're waiting for the dinner bell to ring so that they could come in and eat this delicious food that was always prepared for them. You said you moved this building here from 25 miles away? Yes. yes. So and how do you move a building that far? Well, this man had a truck and he put it on top <laughs> of the truck and he maneuvered it around and drove it in all in one piece. She makes it sound like it's like an easy thing cake. to do. Yeah, he just was. put it on the truck. <laughs> I wanted to sit on top of it and say, yoo-hoo, but they said I couldn't do that. <laughs> I wish they had let you. I do too. That's but cool. Yes. And now it's a museum. Now it's a museum. I'm excited to see what you guys have inside. Yes, I can't wait for you to come in. Let's do it. This is the room where the cowboys would come in and sit. So you have to imagine a really long table with benches on both sides and they would be sitting out on the porch waiting for the dinner bell because they loved the food. Why don't we go in the kitchen and you can see where they actually cooked. I'm thinking stew and pies, oh and biscuits. But this is the kitchen. Everything in here is basically the same as it was. Of course things had to be redone but we tried to restore it to the best that we could that it looked like in the 1930s. This stove actually came in and you can cook gas on one side and wood or coal on the other side. It looks like new and it's in great I shape. I know and it's beautiful. Yeah, I love looking at these old oil cans and the, the containers. That's a whole lot of margarine. That's yes. how... <laughs> yeah, Cowboys ate a lot of lard and margarine yes. according to this. <laughs> you know, kept their energy up. No well, we, we're talking about the biscuits. That's what made the biscuits good, yes. right? No kidding, yes. yeah. Oh, take a look at the bins. Talk about lard. Yeah. Those were all filled with flour, salt. No way. Everywhere you look, there's something cool to look at. Just great displays. So check out the telephones in here. Oh, wow, cool. Those are great. You always had to use an operator to call anyone, so they knew what was going on in every town. <laughs> My mom talks about those party lines, and just it's such a funny idea. Well, upstairs, this used to be the attic but we actually made a floor and have upstairs so that you can see what the architect looks like up here. This building was made out of railroad ties and we wanted to keep it open so you could see that. So the display I wanted you to see first was the Native American display because obviously they were here before we were and so I wanted you to see some of the crafts that they made. Water bottles that are so tight they carry water and these things were all made from Mother Nature. They used rock to grind their food, and all of these things are mostly from the Shoshone, but they also made things out of animal hides, gloves, purses, cradles. One of the things that helped Battle Mountain become Battle Mountain or a community is the railroad. Many Chinese people came in to help with the railroad, and so we have a few Chinese artifacts and that's what's exciting about running this museum. The things that come in, I get to research and find out a lot more things that I, I've known in the past. Another display are these rifles. We know that they were found in our old grammar school, and these all came from the Civil War. So did somebody hide them there? I'm so excited to try to go through as many newspapers and see if I can find that information. So this is actually where they were found. This used to be a grammar school and was built in 1916, and the guns were found inside probably the boiler room at the time. And so that's the mystery. Yeah. 
why do you have Civil War era guns yes, in, in a, school. a schoolhouse? Yes. That's got to be a story to be discovered for sure. Yeah, that's going to be fun to figure that one out. So our next stop is this beautiful Methodist church. It is the first church that was built in Battle Mountain and the community came together to build it. 1893 is when it was built, so it's pretty old. Looks to be in great shape. They yes. certainly take care of it. And then next door, we have Rene Lemaire's house. He was the state senator in Nevada, and the house is being used today as well. So here we are in downtown Battle Mountain, where a lot of people recognize the name the Owl Club yeah. and the Nevada. They've been around for a long time. They were built in the 1870s and the Owl expanded into other businesses and the Nevada expanded into other businesses. So they are pretty big places now. They look like they've really tried to keep the style of the past so they have a very classic look and feel to them. Yes. Good food, good company, friendly people in Battle Mountain. Thanks to Lori, we now have an appreciation for the history and the people of Battle Mountain.